So, Blender Hotkeys, they're a little bit of a pain in the ass. Alright guys, how's it going? I'm going to call this video Keyboard Gymnastics, and there's a good chance it might divide the community just a little bit, so I do apologise in advance. Now there might be a whole bunch of users who think Blender Hotkeys are absolutely perfect, there's nothing wrong with them, the developers made them for a reason, why change them? And that's your opinion, and you're allowed that. And there might be a small contingent that might agree with me who think, yeah, they could do it with a little bit of refinement, they could do it with a little bit of work, they don't always necessarily make sense. Now I'm fully aware, when you first initialise Blender, you can set this to industry standard keys. Now, what industry standard does, that could be a little bit of a contentious argument, maybe a discussion for another day, but you can set them up for things like Maya or Modo, which means if you're moving from a different application, it just makes sense. Now, one thing I will argue is, if you're just learning Blender, it's probably best to leave it on the default Blender setup. Just means following tutorials is a lot easier. So in this video, I'm going to show a few things that just basically annoy me and I find a little bit stupid. And I'm going to show you a nice add-on that's called Is Key Free. It comes in built with Blender and basically what it does is it just prints out a whole list of what is assigned to a keyboard. And it's good because you can do things like searching. And I'll also show you how to kind of tweak your key binding and the preferences. So let me quickly start this off with a moan. And it's transforming objects inside of object mode or layout as some people call it. Now most people, what they will do is they will press the G tool to grab, they'll constrain it to an axis like X, they'll move it, they'll press G again, they'll constrain it again to Y and they'll move it like that. And there's nothing wrong with that to be honest and it is a little bit clean at times. But personally, what you might have noticed is I always use these tools, I always use the gizmos on the left hand side. And I just feel it's a little bit more refined, it's a little bit more intuitive, and you can move in terms of increments, stuff like this. It's just a little bit easier, in my opinion, especially when it comes to rotating, because most people, what they'll do is they'll hit rotate and they'll end up doing something like that. So just using something like the rotate tool, like that, is fine. So these actions on the left-hand side technically don't have a hotkey. Now, if you go back to version 2.6, 2.7, you used to press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to hide the layers. Now they've got rid of layers, obviously, and now you have collections. So now you can hide a collection by pressing 1, 2, 3, and 4. But I don't know about you guys, but I very rarely hide a collection. And when I do, I generally do it in the outliner. Especially since I've actually started to kind of do different colours when it comes to collections. Anyway, so what I've done here is I've ended up making 1 for transform, 2 for rotate, 3 for scale and 4 for the transform gizmo and it makes so much more sense, it feels much more intuitive and it just saves me doing finger gymnastics and I'll get a little bit more control and it makes things a lot easier, in my opinion. So this might be seen as a little bit contentious, maybe even pedantic and at the end of the day it really is your choice what you set your keyboard commands up and that is one thing I will completely agree on when it comes to Blender, it's so customizable, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable, you can change pretty much anything and that includes hotkeys. Now another thing I find completely stupid is having the C key for the circle select. Fair enough if you're working inside of edit mode but in object mode, is it really needed? I don't think so. Let's drop the tool. I think that might actually be better being the 3D cursor. And if you're using the 3D cursor what you'll do is you'll press shift and S and it'll bring up the pie menu, or what you'll do is you'll press shift and you'll move the 3D cursor. Now, is C any different? Not really, to be honest. So that's a few things that just kind of grind my gears a little bit. So let me show you this add-on, and it's called Is Key Free. So once you've enabled it in the preferences, like I said, it comes in built. You go to scripting, you go to the dev tab, and you can hit list all shortcuts, and it'll pretty much give you 4,000 lines of shortcuts. And this is great if you want to quickly search. So what you can do here is you can search for the H key. And it'll tell you here on the right hand side what the H key is actually assigned to. So you can see here file browser, context toggle, graph editor, context toggle again. And this is great. Now you can do this in the key binding. So if you go to edit, go to preferences, go to key map, go to key binding and then hit H. It'll pretty much give you the exact same results. The advantages of doing it this way is, you can actually print it out, which makes it a little bit easier to be honest. So for example, 
Number six is hide collection. I'm actually going to delete this from the key config and I'm going to make it something that I use quite a lot to be honest so I'm actually just going to quickly drop in a Bezier curve here. I'm going to quickly extrude it. I'm going to go to object, I'm going to convert, I'm going to right click, assign a shortcut. I'll make this number six so when I select the object and press number six it'll convert this into a mesh and that for me just makes a little bit more sense. Now there is a lot of keys that are technically unassigned, you can use the Y key, you can use stuff like the O to a certain degree, and that is pretty much keyboard gymnastics, and I can't stress this enough, there is no right and there is no wrong. If you have a nice setup or something that you find works for you, drop it in the comments, I would like to hear about it. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, support me on Gumroad, you know what to do, take care.